Hey everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel today. We're at Beautiful Talking Stick in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I thought I would do a refresher putting video for you and kind of compile all of my favorite tips that I have given throughout these years. So we're gonna talk about pre-shot routine, we're gonna talk about lag putting, we're gonna talk about some fun drills and short putts. We're gonna do it all today, so let's just get right into it. So first off, having a good putting routine is so important to being a better putter, golf is mental, we know that, but especially with putting, and so if you don't have a consistent routine, especially under pressure, your putting breaks down, you start to get a lot of negative thoughts into your head. And so this is my putting routine. I have always done it this way, from junior golf to college golf to professional to even now, I've kept this routine and I haven't changed it. So what I do first is I step behind the the ball, I don't have a marker on me, but I'll mark my ball, pick it up, and I'll walk around the entire uh, green. So first I go to the right side, and I stand in the center, and I kind of see what it's doing, and then I walk around the back side. I look behind, see how it's breaking, and you do your whole routine when people are putting. You just try to stay out of their way, stay out of their eye line, and try not to step on their line. But you're doing your routine while other people are lining up, hitting, doing their routine. And this also, if you're like me, I hate slow rounds of golf and I hate playing with people who are slow. And if I'm just standing there not doing anything, I get so frustrated and it really affects my golf game. And so by having this routine as well, keeps my mind focusing on what I'm doing and not what they're doing. So then I will come around this side. I'll look and see what it's doing right in the center. And then I walk up to the midpoint of my putt and I see what it's doing right here. I like to break it up into two parts of my putt. I'm a good short putter. And so if I can see kind of what it's doing at the second end, the end part of the putt and how it's breaking, it's easier for me to almost draw the line back into my putt that's right here. So then when it's my time to go, I use the line on my golf ball to line it up. I step back, see how it looks. That looks good, but if it doesn't look good, then I will go up and I'll adjust it again. Step back, visualize. I like to visualize a line. Some people see it as like a line, hit a mark, and then it almost like shoots straight over. Some people see it as like a curve of like how it rolls. It really is just up to you and how your mind works. And then I step into it, do two practice swings, one looking down, one looking at the hole. Step in, one foot in, one hand. I set my feet, set my hands. I look, look one more time and then I hit it. Oh. So if you do the perfect routine, you feel confident about it, you're not always gonna make the putt, but if you continue to focus in on your routine, you're going to have more confidence within yourself and you're not gonna get in your head about what's going on, um, any negative thoughts, and especially, especially the short putts. A lot of people get nervous over those three, four footers, but having a really solid routine is going to make such a big difference on the short putts. So next we're gonna talk about lag putting. And this is my all time favorite tip. I have told you guys about this before. Every single clinic that I do, I tell people to do this. It is the best lag putting tip because it's all about your tempo. A lot of times people are so inconsistent with their lag putting because they'll take it back too short and they shove it through 
or they'll take it back way too long and decelerate and their tempo isn't this isn't consistent or the same way every single time and so I do this on all of my lag putts and I would say I'm actually a really good lag putter I don't know if that's a bad sign because I am not hitting it close enough so I have done the lag putts or it could be this tip but I'm gonna go with this tip so again like I was saying some people will take it back too short and they shove it through take it back too far and they decelerate and this tip sounds a little silly. You don't have to say it out loud. I'm gonna say it out loud, but you can say it in your head. It's one potato, two potato. I know, it's silly, but it works. You literally take it back when you say one potato, two, 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 two potato. It's easier to say in your mind than out loud when you're saying it over and over again. A lot of guys, when I tell them this, they go one tequila, two tequila. So whatever you like better, a vodka or tequila, it's up to you. So when we step up, I like to practice it and go one potato, two potato. The ball is just getting in the way of your putter head. It's not, you're not trying to hit it, it's just getting in the way. One potato, two potato. So again, this really helps because this is such a long putt and I instinctively want to go like that and kind of jab at it and that's not what you want to do. Again, you want to have really good tempo here. One potato, two potato. One potato, two potato. So, there you go. And again, it just like gets in the way and you're not shoving at it, you're not decelerating. And you can do this for, I usually do it for like 20 feet and out and it's consistent every single time. And that's what's gonna make your lag putting so much better is that consistency of repeating the same thing over and over and over again. So we're gonna talk about short putting now, more specifically how to make putts under pressure, short putts under pressure. It's hard, it is really hard. This is the thing I was probably the best at when I was playing professionally, I made every short putt. Again, because I was so wild off the tee that I had to rely on making five, six footers all the time. And it was stressful, but there were a couple things that I really focused on every single time I was doing my short putts. We talked about the routine. Routine is number one. The next thing is a lot of people pick their heads up because they wanna see where the ball is going and they're nervous that they're gonna miss it. So they go like this and they yank it because their whole body and their whole head is moving to see, you know, where's the ball going? They go, oh, did I, did I make it or did I miss it? And there's lifting up through it. So what I really like to do is find a spot either on the ground right in front of it or a spot on the ball. And that is just where I look. And I keep it there until you saw Annika do this. She would keep her head still until the ball would, she'd hear the sound. She'd keep it there for the longest time and just find a spot on the ball or on the grass you stare at and just keep your head solid. And that helps so much. As you can see how solid I was over the ball and I felt really confident. There was no lifting, there was no um, inconsistencies because if you're gonna lift differently every single time, you want the least amount of movement possible. And so again, just finding that center and just keeping your head there, it's so easy to stay really uh, still over the ball. The last thing that really helps me is speed control, but you get really good speed control by almost trying to hit draws with your putter. So I think when people are over the ball, they're nervous, they're lifting, they almost hit this kind of like slicey pop stroke and you get really weird inconsistent rolls. You really want a tight roll on your short putts with all of your putts, but especially on your short putts. You don't want to have this kind of like out to in slicey movement. You want to have this like tight little roll on your putts and so you almost like to hit a draw. Brooks Kepka has talked about this a lot. A lot of pros have talked about this. It's almost like this um, turn it in and you're almost like de-lofting it and closing and hitting a draw with your putter and you're gonna get that nice tight roll and your speed is gonna be a lot better too because if you're slicing it and looking up, you have these like weak, slow rolls and it, it might die in, but you wanna actually have some authority with your short putting. So again, it's that nice like kind of draw pop stroke. Look at the difference between that roll compared to that roll. 
Do you see the inconsistency with how it's rolling? And it just doesn't look as confident. So again, you want to have a good routine. You want to keep your head and body still over the putt. And you want to have a nice, solid, tight roll on your short putts. And that is going to help you so much under pressure when you have these short putts. The only putting drill that I want you guys to do, there are plenty that you can do out there and they're great. They are all great, but this is the best one to improve quickly if you don't have a lot of time. So I see a lot of people, they'll hit 100 three footers and they'll just stand there and they'll just hit them over and over and over again. And that's great. There's benefits to every single drill, but my favorite drill to do, and it's easy, is you play 18 holes of putting on a putting green. You line every single putt up, you go through your entire routine, you have to get the ball past the pin, you can't leave them short. If you leave it short, or if you three putt, then you have to start over again. If you are not <laughs> super calm with your putting, you can start with nine holes first, five holes, whatever it may be, but I love doing 18 holes. I love this drill because it gets you in the mindset of playing. It's, for me, it's really hard to translate some drills over to the golf course, and I just don't feel very confident when yeah, I've hit 103 footers, but I just stood there and it was just repetitive over and over and over again. But sometimes when you get out and you do your routine and you line it up and you set up, it feels so different. So it's just different when you go through your routine again. And this is great for speed control, pick short putts, hit long ones, really just like mix it up, get downhill, uphill, breaking putts, try to make it feel as realistic to how you play on the golf course as possible. And that is the drill that I want you guys to do for forever. Always finish with that drill too. If you have other drills that you like to work on with putting, you can do those first, but this has to be the last drill that you end with. So hopefully you guys enjoyed all of my tips today. Uh, this refresher with putting. Putting is obviously one of the most important parts of your game and to improving. So I think this was great for you and for me just to give myself a refresher too to know on what I need to work on. So leave a comment down below on your favorite part of golf. Is it putting, long shots, uh, drivers, chipping, whatever it may be, comment down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.